Hey, it's Rio with the brand new video. Waka waka what? Yeah. Hey guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided to just continue the streak of crazy dog mom videos. Seems like you guys like them. It's no secret that I like them. And I'm pretty sure Samson secretly likes them as well. I'm gonna take that as a yes. I decided to do a video that I wanted to do for a while now, which is testing weird dog products. So I ordered a bunch of a bunch of the randomest dog products that I could find. Some of them aren't like super weird, but they're unique. I feel like these products are things that you wouldn't find in a normal dog owner's home. You'd find them in a crazy dog owner's home. There is one product at the end that I'm going to show you that was sent to me by the company to review. They did not pay me to review it. They just sent it to me and was like, tell us your thoughts. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the Baby Samson Face rating system for these reviews. Five Baby Samson Faces being the best. One Baby Samson Face being meh. Because what's cuter than a Baby Samson Face? Okay guys, let's get started. First product is this IQ Treat Ball Activity Ball. I have a feeling this is not gonna work and it's not because this product is gonna be bad It's because Samson just doesn't really get toys sometimes. So let's see how this goes. Take a look see at that thing We've got our ball. We've got our Samson. Go with your dog's favorite treats. Staples. Dangerous. Oh! Number one, unscrew the ball top oh. Remove the panel Put food or treats inside the ball bottom Number eight, Samson. Put food or, oh, I already did that. Rotate panel to adjust the size of inner hole. Oh, oh, no, that that's completely closed. Ah! You know what, let's just keep it right there. My goodness. Oh! Screwing on the top. Here we go. It's not looking good, guys. This might be a fail. Samson, this isn't cuddle time, this is play time. There are treats inside, and all you have to do is just Oh, it'll fall out. Oh, Samson! Why? All right, so as I expected, Samson didn't really get this toy. I feel like I can't rate it based on Samson's reaction to it. I have to rate it based on the actual product. We're gonna give it a three and a half baby Samson faces. Just didn't really work out, but it's still a cool toy. Maybe in time he'll figure out how to play with it. Nope. Next product is this chill out ice bandana for doggies next. So this product is supposed to help cool down your dogs when it's really hot outside. You're supposed to stick this in the freezer, let it freeze, and then you wrap it around your dog's neck. So I tested this bandana out a few days ago. Funny story, uh, I didn't read the instructions before I used it and I literally just stuck the bandana in the freezer without wetting it first. I was really disappointed because the next day when I pulled it out, it was barely even cold. And my sister-in-law kindly pointed out, maybe it needs to soak in water before you put it in the freezer. And guess what? It does. I soaked it in water, I put it in the freezer, and it turns out it gets pretty cold. Oh yeah. You ready to try this baby out? Yeah? I don't know how long this is gonna last. We're gonna go on like a short walk, like maybe like a 10 minute walk. We're gonna see how long this lasts and how cold it is by the end of the walk. Come here, Sammy. Nice and cool. It's so big on him. Just came back from our walk. Uh, let's see if this bandana is still cold. Oh, it's actually still pretty cold. It's like damp now, but it's cold, which is a nice surprise. Overall, I was actually surprised with how cool the bandana stayed after like a 10, 15 minute walk outside and it's pretty hot out today. Obviously it wasn't frozen anymore when we came back, but it was still cold, which is the point. I'm gonna give this I think, four baby Samson faces. It's pretty legit. This next product is treat launcher. It launches treats. This device launches treats up to 20 feet. It's really far. So first we load the pet treats. That's cool, so you can put multiple treats inside at once. Second thing we do is we pull the switch. Press this button and snack launches. I feel like I should test this without Samson at first. Maybe aim it at the wall just to see the intensity. Like, how do you aim this? Is this gonna go up or that way? I'm scared. Uh, oh, oh, okay, I didn't go that far. Okay, let's try this out on Sammy Poo. Samson's not much of a catcher, so I don't know if this is gonna work. Wait, wait, no, no, no. It's gonna go much farther than that. You gotta go back. I'm gonna aim it up. Woo, that went literally right over his head. Ooh. That hit him on the side of the head. Ooh. 
Catching things in his mouth is not really a strong suit. I actually ended up having a lot more fun with it on my own. Oh, dang it. Oh! See how easy that is? Granted, it's not my mouth. Ready? Whoa! Oh, freak. I caught that! So close! Things got kind of weird. Just because it didn't work on Samson, I'm gonna give this a four baby Samson faces. This next one, hopefully gonna make dog grooming a lot easier. This is a dog grooming glove, if I can... What the freak? Ooh, that is tough to open, my gosh. You put this on your hand and you use it to groom your dog with. It's made of like a silicone rubber material. You ready for this, Sammy? This feels so weird. I feel like I'm petting him, but I can't feel his breath. This is actually really cool. He doesn't seem to mind it, but he's just chilling. Oh, okay, I see a little bit of dog hair on here, which is nice, it's catching it. His tail gets really naughty. Like the tangled naughty, not the naughty naughty. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got some dog hair on here. I actually think he likes this. Look at that. Look how calm. Looks. I surprisingly really like this product even though it just looks so funny. Samson's fur feels nice and smooth. It did what it's supposed to do and it's super convenient because you don't have to hold a brush in your hand. Your hand is the brush. Is it a perfect product though? I mean, you know what? Screw it. I'm giving it a five baby Samson faces. I'm doing it. Look at that smile. He loves it. Samson, you're gonna hate me for this next product. I'm so sorry, but I had to buy it. It's a dog carrier that you can wear in the front like a baby because you are my baby. You don't know what's about to happen. You're gonna hate me. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you're ready for this. <laughs> yep, this is like my dream come true. This is the ultimate dog mom and this is me. Samson, we can go everywhere together now. The crazy thing is that he doesn't seem to mind it. Apparently the power went out. That was weird. I really don't know what I'm gonna use this for. I just like knowing that I have one. Five baby Samson faces, hands down. I mean, do I even need to explain why? All right, this product is something my mom got for Samson while she was in Japan. Because Japan has like the best dog products ever. So my mom decided to get Samson his own backpack. How freaking cute is this backpack? It's a legit backpack with openings and everything and inside is a little pack of poop bags. You can put snacks in here, you can put a water bowl in here, a little belly strap, and voila! Samson's ready for his first day of school. Obviously I'm gonna give this a five baby Samson faces because this is just pure joy right here. Backpack, backpack. Alright, we are at our last product and this one's pretty cool. It's a little robot. So this little awesome invention is called the AppBot Riley and it's a smart home robot. So this is the product that a company sent to me to review. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. What's not to love about this cute little thing? So you control this little AppBot through an app on your phone. I mean, it makes sense since it's called an AppBot. On my phone, I can see what it's seeing. I can control it going forward backwards, I can make it spin in a circle, I can make it look up, and I can make it look down. So this app bot can of course be used to check in on your pets when you're away from home. What sets it apart from normal pet cams is the fact that you can move it around. So if Samson isn't in the living room when I check in on him, I can move this guy to her bedroom and still check in on Samson if he's over there. This robot is also for more than just pet owners, it's for anyone with a home really. You can use it to check in on your kids, to check in on just like your house in general. It also has night vision which is really cool. There are two features about this app bot that like makes it super unique. The first one is that if it ever hits a wall or hits an object and it falls back over, there's a little button you can press that will self write itself. Does that make sense? The second thing is that when it's low on battery, you can drive this to a little charger pad that you can leave anywhere in your house. And instead of having to like maneuver it perfectly to like get on top of it and charge, you get it close enough and you press another button on your app, it auto docks itself onto the charging pad. It's pretty cool. From Samson's perspective, I don't think he really is the biggest fan of this little robot. I don't think he likes things getting in his personal space. I think he's getting a little more used to it, but I don't think he's the biggest fan of it. I'm gonna give the five baby Samson faces because it's just a cool toy to have and that's basically the gist of the app bot. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun testing these like unique slash weird slash interesting slash why would you have this 
products. Most of them were actually really cool. I feel like the lowest rating I gave was like a three and a half, I think. Probably because I'm a crazy dog mom. So any pet product seems really cool to me. I put all the links to all these products that I showed in this video in the description box below so you guys can shop and check them out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel by clicking my face right here. Also click these two videos right here if you want to check out more content from my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and we will see you next week. Bye!